so I just finished watching Curse of Chucky and uh, the first straight to a DVD uh, Child's Play film and after watching uh, Seed of Chucky I, let's just say my, uh, my expectations weren't high well first off uh, I can't give a quality review here on this thing if I can uh, this one is Remember the last couple of Child's Play movies? Yeah, I forget that. Because, <clears throat> uh, this one is determined to put the scary back in Child's Play. It's really different. And, guys, it's a good thing. In this movie, we find out a lot of the backstory of, uh, well, not a lot. We find out a bit of the backstory of Charles Lee Ray and, uh, kind of, a. Uh, how that how we came upon that night in the first place. You'll find that out later on in the film. And I don't want to I'm gonna try and do this without spawning. I'm gonna try. Anyway, so uh Curse of Chucky is well, for one thing, it is the most brutal of all the child's play films. If you don't mind gore, then uh get ready for this one because you know this is going to be filled with uh some gore we're talking Fulci style eyeball violence uh, and uh, kind of a I think remember the movie Intruder with the jigsaw mouth band band something that's a well we get a brutal mouth death in this one as well with an axe uh, hatchet sort of thing it's really really cool uh, basically the story kind of goes uh, there's a, a girl named Nika Played by actually Bridedorf's daughter, and she does an amazing job. As uh, and she's uh, been in a wheelchair since uh, since birth, I think. Yes, yeah, and uh, her uh, she lives in this uh, house with her mother. At the beginning of the film, a uh, a good guy doll was uh, sent to them, and uh, before the opening is over, without this is not giving away too much, it, the mother is uh, is dead. And the, uh, and she's kind of left there alone. You kind of think maybe he's going to kill her too, and this is going to be like the go on from there. But no, it, uh, she's definitely set up to be kind of the heroine of the film. And, uh, one thing I've got to say right away this movie is shot beautifully and brilliantly. There is a, uh, the discovery of her mother's body. Is done incredible. The kill. This is a kill that's done off screen, and uh, we see uh, her, and then we see the blood, and the blood kind of just so hard to explain. Uh, the blood kind of just seeps, kind of like comes slowly outwards, until we can see her reflection in the blood, uh, screaming, and I'm um, coming upon across her mother's body. And there'll be a few scenes like this. We'll see uh, a, a, uh, you know. Ever hold up a knife and see like your reflection? You're gonna see that type of thing there. It's just a very stylish and very stylized movie. The blood was and the gore in this was surprising since the Charles Play movies are, by far and large, not exactly what you consider gore fest or uh, anything that's gonna make you wince too much. So this is probably shot the most beautifully of all the Charles Play movies, and yeah, that includes the Ronnie U. Uh, Bright of Chucky film. Uh, the Whoever did the cinematography on this film did an amazing job. How did I find the story overall? I thought the story was great. Basically, we have a little girl that comes to a visit, the uh, wheelchair-bound girl. And uh, she's given the doll. And so we kind of have an Andy Barclay type of a scenario. Now, the whole film takes place uh, seemingly, if I got this right, within one night. Uh, we get to see uh, her, like... Her, the, the heroine's sister and her husband and their uh, au pair, their nanny, and uh, of course the daughter, who's kind of like the female Andy Barclay in this one. Watch after the credits. The sequence is worth it. Uh, it's really worth it. We hear a lot about uh, what happened before. We even get a really extended flashback later on in the film. And you're going to see a uh, him as not only Chucky in this film, you're going to see him as Charles E. Ray. It 
really takes it back to the roots of the series. And I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed it. The acting overall was uh, was pretty damn good. It was nice to see uh, Brad Dourif again. His uh, daughter has a good uh, future in a film. And uh, I gotta say, I really like the story. It had a couple twists that uh, and they're like not even like horror twists. There was one like, that I didn't didn't see coming, but it's kind of it kind of took me to left field, and I kind of liked it. What can I say? This has this was a great great film, and uh, I'd heard like mixed reviews, like kind of mediocre and stuff like that. There's nothing mediocre about this film at all. I'm sorry, but if you can go and watch Ch Curse of Chucky and you're not going to come out happy with the film and the in the franchise, then uh, I'm sorry, uh, but uh, you're never going to be happy with the films in the Child's Play franchise, and you probably didn't like them in the first place. This movie is uh, truly a real successor through the original Child's Play films. I like the first two films, and uh, after that, they got kind of weak. I did like the introduction of uh, Jim Fertilli's character back in uh, Bride of Chucky. Tiffany, I just wish the movie wouldn't have been so hokey and so overplayed. But this one isn't. Uh, the catchphrase type wisecracking is actually kept to pretty much a minimum. And they are going a long way to do, in creating atmosphere in this film and giving Chucky back that uh, sense of dread and fear that you kind of hope you had in the first one. I actually thought this was kind of creepy. It was very atmospheric. The uh, setting was great. Uh, again, cam work, incredible. I love the actors, and you didn't exactly know where this was going. You weren't sure who was going to make it alive and who wasn't. Uh, great jump scare at the end, and uh, I just got to say, this was incredible. I was not sure how I was going to find him looking like a good guy doll again. Uh, but actually, it benefited the film. And I got to say, I really enjoyed that. Uh, that aspect of it. Okay. No, you can hurt yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, case. <laughs> but this was so well done. And I was so blown away by the fact. This was probably my first uh, positive review for the Horror Globe, and on one that I thought was probably not going to be a positive review. <clears throat> but it was a great movie, so this is going to go on both my, my channel and the Horror Globe, because I think people should see this film. Uh, it Cursed of Chucky went straight to DVD, so you got no excuse not to see it. It's on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, and if you're one of those digital guys, iTunes. But, uh, pick it up definitely worth it. Uh, support the franchise. I know they're thinking of rebooting and stuff like that. I think that's a bad idea. Go on from this one here because they do a really great job. And uh, it's probably the f best Child's Play movie in a long, long time. And it's the best franchise movie in a long, long time because they actually did it right. They actually tried to stay true to the franchise, bring, it, bring back the scares, and give a movie that we can watch and we can enjoy. This is actually the longest in the Child's Play movies, running at 97 minutes. And you know what? I wasn't bored or distracted for a second. This movie goes all the way through, and it builds up atmosphere before you actually see Chucky get into the into it. The characters are, uh, by and far, a fairly likable bunch. So when some of them get off, you, you kind of feel bad. Even the bitchiest ones, uh, they have something that uh, you kind of you don't want them to get killed. And when they get killed, they get killed. Uh, some of the deaths are done off screen, and some people are going to complain about that, but it was done, it was kind of, it was more well done like that. I found that uh, the deaths that are on screen are more effective in, because of that, in fact. And when deaths are usually off screen in this film, there's a reason for it. The movie goes extremely well, uh, it takes a few twists and turns, and uh, you can let me know what you guys thought about it. Maybe you've already seen it, you want to comment down below, or you disagree, but uh, I will find it hard pressed to find anybody that actually likes the Child's Play series that's not going to like this uh, film. If you're into it for the cartoony Chucky and stuff like that, maybe this one will be lesser for you than some of the other ones, but this is a good 
this is it's a good horror film. It's just really, really good. I'm very surprised. I did not expect to be coming on here singing the praise of this film, but I am. It is a great uh, film in the franchise, and I don't know how many more ways I can just say it without spoiling it. I've tried to keep this spoiler free, and the reason I've done that is because this is a good film, and you guys should watch it this Halloween. It is a great Halloween film. It's a, it's just a throwback. If you've seen movies like Dolls and stuff like that, there's just, that's not even a comparison. But uh, here's the way it's done. Dolls also done one night. Oh, sorry, guys. But uh, it's an incredible film. I really enjoyed this. I, I'm extremely surprised. Uh, this has been the biggest uh, Halloween treat for me since I uh, picked up Trick or Treat. And, well, since I first watched Trick or Treat, anyway. Yeah. Just recently picked that one up again on Blu-ray because I only had it on DVD and the features. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, go get Curse of Chucky. Highly, not a rant, I recommend a buy. This one is a good one. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, this is Aaron. And if for my Horror Globe side, uh, this is your Canadian connection, Aaron. I'm headed back now to, uh, obviously, I'm kind of tired, but I can't sleep yet, so... Uh, Guys, it's time for tea. And you know, I forgot to hit the button, didn't I? Yeah, I did. So, uh, instant blooper. First blooper. But it's time for tea.